June 13, 2016. Memorial of St. Anthony of Padua, priest and doctor of the Church. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel, next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or, if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name and, having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing, through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation, Naboth has cursed God and king. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive, but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way, down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord. Attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful the Lord abhors. Lord, Listen to my groaning. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. June 13th, Monday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time, the Memorial of St. Anthony of Padua. 
The first reading comes from 1 Kings 21, 1-16. This is the story of Naboth the Jezreelite. He has a vineyard in Jezreel. Now Jezreel is the Jewish capital of Israel. Ahab the king actually had two capitals, one in Samaria for the pagans and one in Jezreel for the Jewish people. He wanted that vineyard so that he might have a vegetable garden close to his palace. But Naboth refused to sell it. He also refused to trade it for another piece of land outside the city. The reason for that is that land ultimately belongs to God. And it's been apportioned to the various tribes and the various clans of Israel. It's not their land to give, not their land to sell. And so Naboth refuses to sell it. Ahab is depressed by this, and Jezebel, his wife, looks at him like a wimp and says, why don't you be a man about this? And so she arranges for a trial against Naboth, accusing him of blaspheming God, etc., so that he might be stoned. In a lot of societies in the ancient world, and all the way up to modern times, when somebody is executed, that person's property belonged to the king. And in fact, Ahab inherits that vineyard once Naboth is put to death. This is intended to be a sign of social injustice, and in fact, Elijah will condemn Ahab and Jezebel for this, not because they sinned so much against God, but because they sinned against their fellow man. The Gospel is from Matthew 5, 38-42. It's a continuation of the Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus has been extending the interpretation of the law, much as Pharisees did. They built a fence around the law, taking the law to its widest possible extent. But Jesus is doing this in a spiritual way. He says the old law is an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now you've got to realize when that was first proclaimed, that was actually a sign of limiting the amount of vengeance that a person could enact on another. It wasn't that you took an eye out of another person, they could kill you. It had to be limited. But Jesus goes beyond that. And he says, if anyone strikes you on your right cheek, turn your left as well. If they take your tunic, give them the cloak as well. If they make you offer service for a mile, the Romans could impose that service upon any person, telling them to carry a load for a mile and carry it two miles as well. To respond even to acts of oppression with incredible generosity, to destroy the power of the anger and the hate that was expressed in that oppressive act that we respond to any evil with love, because we know that only love can conquer. And may God bless us.